Good morning everyone, come back with me. I'm Dinar Kala Septania. I'm here to represent Hangtua 6 Jonggol Junior High School to bring a storytelling with the title Peter Pan. And here's the story. Once upon a time, there were three children, Wendy, John, and Michael. They like bedtime because every time in the nursery, Wendy told stories about Peter Pan. Peter Pan is a little boy who decided to never grow up. He lives in a faraway Neverland, full of adventure and fun. The children love to hear stories about him, and Peter Pan himself with the fairy Tinkerbell would come flying down and sit on the nursery windowsill to hear the stories. One night, Peter Pan asked the children to come with him to the Neverland. Wendy was delighted, and Peter taught them how to fly. It was as easy as one, two, three. All it took was a wish and a page of pixie dust and a little practice too. Then out the nursery window they flew and away to the Neverland. The Neverland was a wonderful place, an island in a nameless sea. There were fairies living in the treetops. There were mermaids swimming in the lake. There were really red Indians in the village on the cliff. There were woods full of wild animals. Best of all, there was a ship full of birds. Wicked one with a specially wicked leader, Captain Hook. Wendy, John, and Michael knew at the first sight that they would love the Neverland, and they did. They liked Peter's wonderful underground house with lots of hidden doorways in the great big hollow tree. There, they met the lost boy who shared Peter's homes. The boys were delighted that Wendy had come to tell bedtime stories to them. But they did not spend much time in the underground house. There were too many exciting things to do. Sometimes they played war with the Red Indians who were really their very good friends. Sometimes they had trouble with the wicked pirates who were their enemies. One day, the pirates stole away Princess Tiger Lily of the Indian tribe. The Indian chief, her father, was all upset. But Peter Pan rescued the Tiger Lily and broke her safely home again. Then met Captain Ho, the leader of the pirates, made a red Peter Pan than he had ever been. Oh, gosh, that Pan, if that's the last thing to do, he thought and he lied a wicked plan. He kidnapped Wendy, John, and Michael, an old lost boy, while Peter Pan was away, and he took them into his pharmacy. Now, my fun flows, said Captain Hook, when he had the boys and Wendy on his ship. Which it will be? Will you all turn pirates or do you want to walk the plank and fall crepes into the sea? I guess we'll turn pirates, said the boys, but a Wendy would have known of that. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Peter Pan will rescue us. And she was right, for at the last minute, Peter Pan appeared. He beat Captain Hook in the good, fair fight, and he freed everyone of his red. They scared those bad pirates into jumping off a board and rowing away in their boat. Hurrah! Now the pirate ship is ours! cried Ben. Where shall we shall to? cried the boats. It's time we went home. And um, if you must go home, we saw there, said the Peter Pan. With a wish and a page of pixie dust, they made that pirate ship fly. And away they all sailed on that ship through the sky to the nursery window again. Moral value of the story is. You will be very happy if you have friends, 
friends will share stories, help each other in difficult times, and celebrate happiness together. Thank you! Yeah. Is that the...